Hello and welcome back to Creative Design and Supply. Today I want to show you we are going to take our Color Splash Ultra um, DTF transfers and we are going to press them on wood. Now I do have another video of me doing a fall one on a square piece also. But I picked these up at the Dollar Tree and I painted some acrylic paint and I'm thinking about doing another one um, this is very cute All right. just given ideas and there's another thing that I started to think about is um, you could actually take some of these and piece these wherever you would like and put them together um, that would be cute too, but this one right here is so bright and fun that we are going to go ahead and work with this one. And as you see, this is a large Color Splash Ultra transfer. Now, I am going to place this center, and I have my little sandwich, um, like I do with my sublimation prints. It is going to be pressed at 285 for 15 seconds with a cold peel. All right. And so I am just going to go ahead and line this up. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit because I'm going to put some bows. And if you're worried about trying to find the center, I like to take these. And you are just going to crease the top and the bottom. You don't want to do that on the other. Um, I just do this just to give me an idea of where my center is. And then I am going to put a piece of heat tape on there. All right. And then I am going to close this up. All right. And we are going to press this, like I said, 285 for 15 seconds. Okay. All right. So. Okay. So what I would probably do the next time that I do this, I would do some parchment paper or I would have one of these left over and I would put on top of it because you see where the paper, where it pressed with the paper is where it picked up. Let's see, Let me see if I can slide it back here. All right, so where it was not covered from, from the paper, it has that so it's just right there so no harm no foul on that and I will just touch those up but now I know that I need to at least have some parchment paper full parchment paper on it and um, I will try this one also on another video so we are going to let this get completely cold before I pull this off all right, so now we're going to go ahead and pull this off. There we go. All right, and so here, let me go ahead and show you. Um, those are the edges that it that it took a little bit of the paint off. Um, but I did not let it dry for 24 hours also. So I painted it early, early this morning. Um, if you want to, and if you were going to hang this outside on a door, I would do a clear spray paint of some sort. Um, the Mod Podge, just an acrylic sealer, just to seal over it so that the weather won't get to it. Um, but other than that, you have a cute little, we can put the strings in and put a cute little bow and I will paint the edges 
one more time and there we go all right if you have any questions about this comment below and i'll be glad to answer them for you thanks have a great day